and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a very exciting video. I'm so excited for this because I recently uploaded my 2019 eyeshadow palette collection video and I don't know if it's at 6,000 views yet, but it was getting really close and it's definitely like my most watched video like in the history of my channel. So I'm really excited and it made me you know, kind of feel like, hey, you guys like watching eyeshadow palette videos, and I do too, so it was just really great to see you guys um, absorb that content, and if you're new on my channel, welcome. My name is Karen, and today I'm bringing you another exciting video. This is my singles eyeshadows. So I have all my singles in Z palettes, and I thought it would be so fun to show you guys how I store and organize and categorize my Z palette. So if you're interested, if you're curious, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you guys is how I store my single eyeshadows. These are the Z palettes I get from Ulta. I really like these, I've been buying them for a long time. I haven't had any problems with these. I love the clear top because I have a lot of single eyeshadows and I like being able to see in to these palettes. Now, my number one secret, these palettes do go on sale, so you can get them buy two, get two free, which means you get four of them for 10 bucks which I think, well, four of them for $10 each. So you get four of them for $40, which I think is an amazing deal. And these are nice and durable. And I like having the same palette so that it's uniformed. And maybe someday when I can't remember what's what, I will label them. But for right now, I really like this. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys in case you're looking for ideas on how to store your single eyeshadow palettes. So the first eyeshadows I want to show you are these guys from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. These are some of their newer singles as well as some of the ones they've had for a while. And I have another palette with a few other singles from Give Me Glow. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this size, which is like a medium size Z palette, fits not that many of the, is this the 37 millimeter pans, I believe? Um, but I don't mind that and I do plan on just leaving these bigger size pans in here. I don't know if I'll buy more singles from them, but for right now this works for me. So yeah, I really like these shades and I'll show you guys the ones I picked up recently. Those singles are beautiful. I am not planning on doing swatches in this video, but if there's any particular collection you want to see swatches on, let me know down in the comments and I might already have videos on these palettes so definitely feel free to search my channel. For example, these are the new Sydney Grace Spring Bundle and I already did a video on these so if you want to see how they performed definitely check out that video but yeah this is the Sydney Grace Spring Collection. They actually sent this to me in PR which I was really jazzed about. These shades are beautiful and so easy to work with. Definitely my favorite single eyeshadows and you'll see a lot of them in my collection. This is just a random single blush I picked up from ColourPop. This is a old shade that they bought back called Whirl and I don't know what I was thinking but it just looks so appealing to me on the website that I picked it up and it's just there. So here is one of my new favorite green palettes. This is the Sydney Grace Danny Bundle. This is our newest bundle. It's actually supposed to be their version of a dupe of that pickle palette that an Australian brand sneak peeked on April Fool's. So it was another April Fool's joke. And I'm always glad when Sydney Grace jumps up and volunteers to make a beautiful collection like this. And then I added some of my new picks from Give Me Glow as well as some of the shades I already had and I just thought these would be fun shades to pair with the Sydney Grace Danny Bundle. So I have that in a palette as well. Okay, this palette honestly just makes me like all kinds of happy. These are my green and blue shadows mostly from Sydney Grace. All the shadows in here are Sydney Grace but I obviously there's some like purples mixed in here but this half of this palette just like draws me in and some of my favorite shades from Sydney Grace like this one for example I believe this is Megalodon and then this 
neon green is beautiful. So I wanted to fill in my singles collection so I could make a custom green eyeshadow palette. And I want to dig into all of my single eyeshadow palettes, but I wanted to film my collection before I did that because right now I have all my singles organized by brand. It's just the easiest way for me to keep track of them. Um, and I know once I create my green palette, they're all going to be mixed up, which is fine. But I just thought for collection video purposes, it'd be easier to show you guys by brand. I don't know if I'm going to be an overachiever and like link all the shades and stuff for all of these palettes. I might. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> this just sounds like a lot of work to do like, oh, this is the palette one. Here are all the shades. But I might do it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, that's going to be a lot of work. But yeah, isn't this beautiful? I don't know what else to say. I just, I love this palette. And I swatched their No Joke Bundle against the Tarte Icy Bitch palette. So if you want to see that video, it's definitely in my archives. This palette, oh my gosh, these are like some of the most beautiful single eyeshadows I own. These are the eyeshadow singles from JD Glow, specifically their Galaxy shadows. And I had always wanted to try these and I waited for a sale and picked them up and I really, really, really wanted to get like all of them, but I just didn't want to you know, spend like hundreds of dollars acquiring these. So I bought a few and they are so stunning. I've heard people compare these to the Pat McGrath special eyeshadows and I feel like they're definitely very close. I still love Pat McGrath, obviously, but aren't these beautiful? And I did swatch these as well. So if you want to see a swatch party, it's already up on my channel. Okay, so these are new ones from the brand Touch of Glam. This is not their newest collection, but this is new to my collection. I haven't really shown these on my channel yet. Um, honestly, these shadows looked even more beautiful in her product photography. So I wouldn't recommend like you running out and buy these. But it is a beautiful formula. I have worn this purple shade on my eyes. I did use a glitter glue with it. I know I saw Angelica talk about these and she did say it's not really their formula that she's used to, but I don't really know enough about them to compare them to previous formulas. But yeah, I just thought this was so beautiful and I bought it. But if I could go back and actually like think about my purchase, I probably would have said no to it, but I'm happy I have it and they're a great indie brand. Um, so if you want to check them out, you definitely should. Okay, this palette is kind of like a dirty little secret, but these are my Coastal Sense Hot Pots. And I didn't even really know about Hot Pots until I was, I think I was back home. And I saw people posting about these because they do a sale every once in a while where these are a dollar. So of course, I like went through and bought enough shadows to fill a Z palette. And I always meant to do a video on these. And I just never got to it, so they're just sitting here. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in me reviewing this. Also, if you haven't already heard, I'm actually on a no-buy for the month of May, which is pretty shocking for my channel because you guys know how much I love to buy makeup. But this is the reason I'm on a no-buy because of palettes like this that I invested money in, wanted to test out and review for you guys, and I never did. So I have played with a few of these. I wasn't like overly impressed by them, but I feel like, you know, I deserve to give it a good shot and try them out and let you guys know my thoughts in case the sale ever comes up again. Um, you can maybe consider picking some of these up. So, yeah. Okay, guys, here are some singles that pretty much nobody talks about anymore, but these are my Makeup Geek singles. As you can see, you can tell that these were purchased when I was like a neutral baby. And so because of that, I have like all of her famous neutral shades. And I don't regret it at all, obviously. I still think these are very beautiful. I wish I used them more because I do feel bad that um, they don't get enough love. But uh, it is what it is. And... Yeah, it's, I'm just happy to have them in my collection. They're really great eyeshadows. Obviously, now, if I had to pick between having the money or having eyeshadows, I'd probably go with having the money. Um, but yeah, at the time I picked all of these up, they were very popular, and 
I am still hopeful that Makeup Geek will make a comeback in 2019. Okay guys, next brand in my makeup collection singles are Luxie Beauty and Honestly, again, another shameful confession, I have not used most of these eyeshadows. Every time I get a new Luxie collection, I tell myself like, okay, I'm going to use it, and then something else comes out or launches, and I totally get sidetracked. So a lot of these shadows I've never even put on my eyeballs. And then recently they announced another sale, and I was like, ooh, let me get some more. And I was like, Karen, honestly, like, stop it. So <laughs> I didn't buy any more, but... These are gorgeous. Look at this shade. This pink shade is just like calling my name. I, again, need to play with these more and obviously review the brand for you guys. These might not be the latest shadows or anything by any means, but I still feel like I can turn out a decent review with these. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Okay, here is another palette that needs more attention. These are singles from ColourPop. And some of these again are singles that I've had for quite some time and again they just don't get enough love and attention and the other thing that Colourpop does they do these like pre-made single palettes and I've purchased quite a few this year and I'm a little bit mad at myself because I always jump the gun and buy stuff and I've bought like duplicate shades not that I like I'm crying over spilled milk or anything but I just think it's like ridiculous that I do that to myself but yeah I think this is really beautiful and again more palettes that need love in my collection obviously you guys know I love the Colourpop eyeshadow formula so I don't really have anything bad to say about them and I feel like this is a great pr way to start uh, a single eyeshadow palette collection is to check out the Colourpop singles because they usually have good sales and $30 for free shipping and yeah it's just very easy to make a palette on their site so check them out next bunch of singles these are beautiful i actually started testing these out for a review for you guys but i don't think i ever got to the review portion i feel like if i tested them out a little bit more i can definitely you know whip out a review but these are the cleanot cosmetics north 55 65 collection or whatever it was called um it was their northern lights inspired collection and it's honestly a really beautiful collection again it's a set of eyeshadows i wish i could use more um just some beautiful shades that totally appeal to me and i love this um, collection so so much. I actually did not end up picking up any of their multi-chrome collection because honestly it was just so expensive and I wanted all the jewel eyeshadows but I just could not part with like 200 something dollars for multi-chrome eyeshadows so I did end up passing on that but I still have a lot of Cleonade eyeshadows in my collection so I'm not too sad that I missed out on their multi-chromes but they have beautiful single shadows and yeah I'm happy I have this collection okay guys so this is kind of my Davina touch of glam and then some lip what are these called glitter injections I was gonna say lip injections what's wrong with me so these two this row and these three are Davina eyeshadows from their like over the rainbow this is their Spartacus bundle which again I haven't really talked about I don't really like these eyeshadows very much um, I know some people really like Davina's mattes. To me, I don't really get the hype. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I still obviously have them. These are from Touch of Glam a long, long time ago. And I just didn't use them. So hopefully I can do that in 2019. And then I bought some lip injections. Not lip injections, glitter injections back in the day when my friend Nisha was talking about them. I haven't seen any mole grow on mine, so I haven't been concerned about the few I bought, but I know that was a controversy that happened a few years ago. But yeah, this is kind of a random assortment of eyeshadows and it looks really freaking beautiful. Okay guys, here is my other Luxie palette. So this is like a summer collection again from theirs. I don't know where these two came from. These are their highlighters, which I bought because my friend Angelica like raves about them. This tends to happen to me with some of my Luxie shadows. I don't know what it is, if it's the formula. I can't imagine it's something I did because as you can tell, all the other shadows are fine in the collection, but this like completely shattered in this Z palette as you can see. Um, so that's something that bothers me about Luxie. I haven't really heard anyone else mention having that problem, so I don't know if it's just a me thing, 
but honestly yeah because of that I'm not like a huge fan of buying from Luxie that's why I prefer Sydney Grace over the other single eyeshadows from indie brands but I you know I have these and so I want to test them out and review them for you so definitely let me know if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on Luxie okay guys here is another Pride and Joy palette this is from Sydney Grace and these are all my like pinks yellows and neutral eyeshadows from them and these are just gorgeous. I was so excited when I saw these shades on Sydney Grace's website because I hadn't really seen anything like this before. So I'm so glad I have these. Again, I definitely don't play with these enough and that makes me very, very sad. But I do plan on showing these palettes more love in 2019. And yeah, these are some gorgeous shades. Okay, next palette I wanna show you guys. This one comes with these shadows from Divina. I thought these shadows look so beautiful online. I was definitely attracted to like the greens in this purple row. One night I saw they were having a sale, accidentally hit the wrong button and purchased these. And I really couldn't figure out how to get them canceled so I just went with it and I got this palette. I believe I did do a swatch party video on this entire collection. I have not reviewed it or anything for my channel yet but I definitely can if you guys want me to. But yeah, these are pretty. There's nothing wrong with them. I just never use them. So these shadows are very disappointing. I believe I got these from Love Lux Beauty. I did accidentally show this in my um, eyeshadow palette collection video. And I will try and remember to link that for you guys in case you haven't seen my eyeshadow palette collection. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say about these. I haven't really put these on my eyes because I'm honestly afraid that these glitter pieces will like cut my eyeball up. So yeah, I don't know what to do with this palette. I kind of just want to throw it in the trash and uh, forget about it. But these are from Love Lux Beauty, just so you guys know. Okay, here is ColourPop's Festival palette. I was so excited when I got these. I haven't really played with the pigments yet. The glitters are really fun. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I had my husband playing with these the other day. He was a little lit, uh, to say the least, and he was having a lot of fun swatching the um, glitter, pressed glitters from ColourPop. But yeah, it's a cool formula, and I'm glad I got them from ColourPop and I didn't pay an arm and a leg um, from another brand, but will I buy more? Um, pressed glitter no I don't see myself doing that anytime soon also can we talk about this like packaging isn't it gorgeous okay here is a small Z palette this is a Sephora Z palette this is a small Cleonade collection called the harvest bundle I believe and I had placed an order for the northern lights type collection that I showed you guys earlier and this was available as well and me being the neutral lover deep down I was like Fuck it. If I'm going to pay for shipping, I might as well get this one too. So I got both of them. Definitely don't love these shadows as much as I like the Northern Lights collection, but here they are. Okay, more ColourPop. So this is the ColourPop. Well, I guess these aren't shadows, but I figured I'd show them to you anyway. This is their um, Build Your Own palette, and I built myself a blush palette. Honestly, sometimes I feel like their shades don't look the same as they do in real life on their website because these shades definitely looked way more vibrant on their site when I was picking them out doing the build your own palette um, as opposed to when I got them I was just like really this is it <laughs> I was expecting some kind of magic so just so you guys know be warned these aren't as vibrant as they look on the site I don't think they're bad I would definitely never pay like full price. I got them for like 30 bucks and I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to build a blush palette with ColourPop, so I did it. But if I know now, if I knew now what I know, if I knew then what I know now, I would not pick this up again. Okay, here's another one where, this is where I started buying the duplicates. ColourPop had this palette curated for Valentine's Day this year. And this just looks so appealing to me on the website. It kind of reminded me of the Huda Desert Dust palette. And yeah, it just looked so beautiful. And my little heartstrings were yearning for it. So I bought it and I kind of feel like I shouldn't have, but it is what it is. So <laughs> here we are. And uh it is beautiful, but 
I definitely didn't need to buy repeat shades. Okay, this is a beautiful packaging from ColourPop, and then this is another palette that they curated. These were all of their brand new singles when they first launched, and uh, that's how I have repeats. Like, this pink shade is definitely in that palette and stuff like that, but that's okay. I think they even have more newer singles that I'm curious about now, but I'm not gonna buy any more. I have way too many eyeshadow singles, and I wanna play with them, and I don't think you guys have ever seen me use these on my channel because again it was one of those things I was so excited for them I bought them they arrived and I had already moved on to something else so that's the story okay so before I show you guys my very last a single eyeshadow palette I'm going to show you these guys these are my colored rain singles as well as my deep potted queen of hearts and my deep potted so uh, what cheers to beauty and some other palettes that I depotted from them. I just never ended up using the Cheers to Beauty palette and their smaller six pan palettes. So I decided to go ahead and depot. And I'm so happy I did. I We did suffer some casualties here and there, but for the most part, we all made it. And I ended up with these beautifully curated palettes. I must say this just like appeals to me on a whole nother dimension. <laughs> And as well as these, Colored Rain has one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas of just like all time. I think the only other formulas I can think of that I love as much as Colored Rain, probably Juvia's Place. Um, but this formula, oh my gosh, I don't know if it's because it's made for people of color. It just works so well. The shades are so buttery. The blend to perfection. The new um, Safari Rain palette is gorgeous. So I just love these so, so much. Again, I'm so sorry that I don't get to use them enough. But if you guys are looking for an amazing single or, you know, palette collection, you definitely want to get these. And, and my other... Um, Colored Rain single collection. I almost forgot to show you guys these. This is their, um, I don't even know, like their Brights collection. I can't remember what these were called. Again, I haven't even used any of these. If you can see these, like they're not even swatched. So definitely let me know if you guys wanna see them. And then I added some of the other singles I had picked up from Colored Rain. And they're just beautiful. I don't know what else to say. I'm really sad that I haven't tested these out, but I will. I'm going to do it. It's going to happen because these are too pretty to just sit there and not be loved. And last but certainly not least are my first ever singles from Cleonaut Cosmetics. So these were the ones I originally picked up before I got some of the other collections. This is their like witchcraft collection um, set, I think it all came together, and then this was a little baby sample that they sent me, which was so cute. These shades are gorgeous. I don't know what else to say. They're all beautiful duochrome shades and beautiful mattes and just very unique, so I'm very happy these are in my collection, and, uh, I love, 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 love. Okay, guys, thank you so much for sitting through that palette collection or my single shadow collection. Not as long as my eyeshadow palette video, but I still appreciate you guys taking the time to check it out. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. I will link my eyeshadow palette collection video in the cards and on my end screen so you guys can watch it if you haven't already. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Um, we love to play with makeup here on Karen Harris and uh, I love to do swatch parties and eyeshadow looks and play with eyeshadow and wear crazy statement earrings. If you guys want to know where these ones are from, I will link them down in the description box. Go support a local business, a girl boss. Like, I'm living for this <laughs> earring moment right now. So, anyway, love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one soon. Bye!